वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई थैंक यू ऑल फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल एंड स्प्रेडिंग इट टू मेनी ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड ग्रुप्स इन लास्ट वीडियो व्हिच आई हैव वर्क्ड ऑन मेनी इंस्टॉलेशन प्रैक्टिसेस फॉर एचवीएसी आई गॉट सम ऑफ द फीडबैक्स फ्रॉम मेनी ऑफ यू दैट आई शुड डू समथिंग लिटिल डीप इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो कनेक्शन ऑफ एन इक्विपमेंट्स लाइक एचूज एंड पंप्स एंड चिलर्स लाइक दैट आई थॉट आई शुड वर्क ऑन दैट and fulfill your requirements so i have tried to make video on piping connections of individual equipments in hvc system so this video is dedicated for those equipments i will go one video by one video and we'll start the series with pumps so thank you very much once again let's get into the the topic the topic is the equipment piping connections in hvc system and today we are going to talk about the pumps piping connections with respect to the pumps now you must have seen pumps getting installed like this and these are very important little, little things which we should know when we go ahead to the piping and we should not leave it to only piping supervisor piping contractor we as an engineer should know it before and we should be able to guide them innovate them further let's dwell into the topic now in piping connection for pumps we have many other items needs to be connected first is butterfly wall it looks like that so i have created some photographs so it is has a better visibility and better understanding of what it is then we have y stainers then we have flexible bellows pump itself obviously pressure gauges test points ball walls differential pressure transmitter and non return walls this is also called check wall these are important elements in any piping connection and these are specifically for the pumps and that's how i thought i will give you a brief idea of what goes in into pump connection apart from piping by pipes we know whether we use depending upon size is3589 or is1239 so i thought these are important things which i bring up now let's go into the details and this details like that you know when we get a return line that is coming from the hus of the building now let's go ahead into the detail let us look at this return line which is coming then first thing comes in butterfly wall these are the isolation wall so if you want to do anything here any maintenance here these butterfly walls are important so let's get into the first return line first we get a butterfly wall then we get waste tunnel what is the purpose of waste tunnel to take out the dirt and particles which are available in the flowing water it is it has a mesh which actually takes all those particles and we can clean those a uh, mesh and remove this particle and keep the water clean so that's the purpose of this waste tank then we have flexible connection what is the use of flexible connection to avoid or to reduce rather the vibration coming out of pump to the pipes because pipes go across all the buildings and they will carry that vibration to the structure and the building will have impact of of vibration so these uh, vibration flexible bellows or we call is flexible connections reduce that impact coming out of the pumps so that's why it is necessary then we have pressure gauge why we should know what is the pressure at this point near to the pumps we also provide and it depends on installation installation at either a ball wall over here and just keep it like that because we want to connect and get information related to differential pressure across supply and return of the pumps so you can see this is one more here and that is connected to dpt now this dpt will give signal to the bms system and that's why it is important so either we create a ball wall or we keep a test points these are the test points or test ports that are available in the market we can put it here then we get a pump now after the pump which actually discharges water again we will have similar connections related to ball wall or test point and there a pressure gauge you because we want to know what is the pressure here what is the pressure at suction right this is suction and this is a discharge again at the both sides we put vibration elevators or flexible bellows which reduces the vibration coming out of the pumps to these pipes the arrows are basically denoting the pipes then we have check wall what is the importance of check wall what is the purpose of check wall to avoid water coming back once it goes up check wall closes and it avoids water returning back into the line so that's the check wall then we have butterfly wall which is again an isolating wall and then water goes out so you can see here two butterfly walls first is the starting point which are the isolating walls which are the 
these are the isolating walls so semi similar thing is denoted over here in a schematic so this is the pump connection my friends and when you go to reality this is how it looks you know we have now butterfly wall over here you can see a wheel this is a larger dry butterfly wall that's why the gear operated butterfly wall then we have wire strainer from here we can clean wire strainer then we have a flexible bellow we have pressure gauge the test point is not here but uh, it requires wherever the dms is connection we have flexible bellows over here we have pressure gauge again then we have nrv on discharge side and the butterfly wall so these are the two isolating walls right now just to give you a brief when we take the tap off from this header we that when we take the tap off this area gets weakened and that's why you can see there is a reinforcement pad which is welded separately which is coming out of this mother pipe like this so we have this reinforcement pad over here which gets welded like this you can see this picture properly similar thing is replicated over here so this is a strong joint there is no weakness here and we have a system running for long long time we have a system running for long long time without any issues so this is a, a view of pump and i thought this will give you a clarity of what i showed you earlier looking the actual installation this is a practical installation actual installation which i thought i should bring it similarly the one which i showed you this is for the condenser water system you can see the pipes are bare now one i'm going to show you now is a chilled water system and that's why the pipes are insulated these are insulated with the cladding now you can see over here the isolation wall butterfly wall this is a discharge line so we have nrv nrv over here and this is a flexible bellows those are gone inside the cladding but these are the flexible bellows. we have strainer over here on the suction side you can see a butterfly wall is here and then a strainer over here and this is a pump so this is how the pump connections the pump piping connections are done this is what i just told you this is a reinforcement pad and this is a larger view of the same picture this is taken out from the mother pipes and welded here this is a work in progress similar the same pictures work in progress how the butterfly walls are getting installed here nrv is here pumps are here flexible bellows are here and this is how the piping connections are done there is another view here which will give you a overall view what we saw just before you know butterfly wall over here wire strainer flexible bellows pressure gauge pump flexible bellows pressure gauge nrv and butterfly so these are my friends piping connections now one more thing which is coming now is these wire strainers and nrvs you know are getting combined so we have a suction guide instead of wire strainer which is coming over here which is directly connected to pumps and we have combination wall which will act as a uh, nrv plus isolation wall so this is the new thing which is coming in which looks like this this is a suction guide and this is a combination wall now this saves a lot of uh, joints in the piping because two things are getting replaced by one and secondly the space requirement is really reduced so this is the advantage of it. quality is always a result of excellent work without a compromise so thank you very much my friends for listening to me and i hope this will uh, this video has helped you in a smallest way and i request you to spread this you can follow me on youtube linkedin and facebook i am active on these social media handles i just wanted to give some more information about my course which is available on udemy you can click this link which is there in the description below you can click that link and and see a, a valuable course on project risk management it's a very very nominal price and you can use this coupon code and take the advantage of this one more announcement which i want to make is i have also launched courses on project management and one of the course which is a basic course which is on project management importance for all those people who want to get into this industry product who want to do projects want to be associated with big projects and want to start the career in project management you can look at this course it's a basic course it will give you a lot of awareness about project management project integration you can again see the link and this link is again there in the description box you can click that and contact me you can also follow me on my website ejaskazi.com thank you very much for your patience